The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Okay, so we've got just a single word for this deep dive. Malibu. Huh. Malibu. Interesting. Yeah, you know, it's one of those places that, I don't know, it just evokes like sun, surf, celebrities, the whole nine yards. Right. I mean, everyone has an image of Malibu in their head, whether they've been there or not. But there's a lot more to it than just the postcard. Exactly. And that's what we're here to uncover, right? What's the story beneath those picture-perfect beaches and those multi-million dollar mansions? It's a fascinating mix of, well, everything. Natural beauty, Hollywood history, a surprisingly down-to-earth community. Yeah. And yeah, those waves. Oh, man, the waves. We can't talk about Malibu without talking about the surf. It's like legendary. Yeah. But what is it about Malibu that creates those perfect waves, like geographically speaking? So it's actually pretty cool. Malibu sits on this kind of shelf, underwater, I mean. It juts out from the coast. And that, along with the way the Pacific currents flow, well, they collide, basically, yeah. creating these long rolling waves that are just perfect for surfing. So it's like... Sculpted by nature to be a surfer's paradise. No wonder it's attracted the best of the best. Exactly. I mean, names like Miki Dora, George Freeth, these guys help put Malibu on the surfing map. It's incredible how a quirk of geography can have such a huge impact. And I guess that allure, those perfect waves, it's bound to draw a certain crowd, right? Oh. Which brings us to, well, those Malibu homes. You can't talk about Malibu without talking about the real estate. And the people who own it, of course. It's a who's who of Hollywood. But what is it about Malibu that's so appealing to celebrities, do you think? Well, think about it. You've got this incredible natural beauty, mm. ocean views, those yeah. beaches. But you've also got a sense of seclusion, of privacy, which, let's be honest, is hard to come by when you're famous. And then there's the exclusivity factor, the whole if you have to ask, you can't afford it thing. Right, right. It creates this whole mystique. But I'm curious, before those million-dollar mansions, before the Hollywood A-listers, who called Malibu home. I mean, it's got to be more history there, right? Oh, absolutely. Malibu's history goes back a lot further than Hollywood. For thousands of years, the Chumash people called Malibu home. And their connection to this land runs deep. Really? The Chumash people? What can you tell us about them? Well, they were incredibly resourceful. They fished in the ocean, hunted in the hills. They had a deep understanding of the natural world and how to live in harmony with it. And they had a rich spiritual life as well, with Malibu's landscape playing a central role in their beliefs. Wow. It really makes you think, doesn't it, like about the layers of history that exist in a place and how those layers kind of build on top of each other. Definitely. And what's really interesting is that there's a movement to revitalize Chumash culture in Malibu today. They're trying to preserve archaeological sites teach their language, and educate people about their history. So it's about more than just acknowledging the past. It's about keeping that history alive, right? Exactly. And it's a reminder that Malibu's story is a lot more complex than just the glitz and glam of Hollywood. Absolutely. So we've got this place that's shaped by nature, coveted by the stars, but ultimately rooted in this incredibly deep ancient history. It's kind of amazing when you think about it. It really is. Malibu is this fascinating mix of contradictions. It's both exclusive and welcoming, both modern and ancient. And it's constantly evolving, which I think is part of what makes it so intriguing. It really is. And I think you're right. It's that constant evolution that keeps people coming back for more, keeps us talking about it, wondering what's next for Malibu? What's the next chapter in its story? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.